Hey guys and welcome back. Today I wanted to talk to you about how to decide whether something is going to be a true lasting wardrobe staple or whether it's just gonna be a really fast passing trend which is also what we call a fashion fad. Most people have the ability to look back in hindsight and determine whether or not something was just a passing trend, just a fashion fad. The trick is to decide if this is going to happen way before it actually happens. So although fashion fads can be quite fun to engage with, they are also a result of the buy and throw away culture that we live in. So trends will inevitably always be a huge part of our society because really they are a picture of of how our culture and our society evolves and changes over time. I would really like to teach you guys that you can still look stylish and chic and feel amazing even though you might not be following every single fashion fad or trend that's out there because often at the end of the day these fads are designed with an expiration date they're meant to die out pretty quickly so the result of a really trend driven or fad driven wardrobe is this feeling of being completely overwhelmed and feeling like you never have anything to wear, never feeling satisfied and like you're good enough. And that is everything we want to stay away from here on my channel. So how do you determine whether or not something is going to be a wardrobe staple or if it's just going to be a, a fashion fad? That is what we're gonna look at today. So let's start by distinguishing fashion fads from trends and wardrobe staples because there's actually a difference between the three. So a fad is generally considered to have a really quick and short kind of behavior. It is designed, as I mentioned before, to die out very quickly. Just to mention a few examples from the 2000s, who doesn't remember the Dolce & Gabbana tank tops that were suddenly everywhere, the insanely low rise jeans, the see-through sunglasses that were kind of bedazzled. And might I add, we're all different, so if you do find yourself still loving some of these, there's no harm in that, you do you. But these are definitely some examples of them, some things that we saw a lot of in the 2000s and then suddenly they seem to just disappear. When speaking of trends, they might also disappear in time. But trends generally have a bit more of a long-term behavior than fashion fads. So they're often a, a result of what is cool and popular right now, but they might turn into more long-term cultural changes or behavior as well. The classics are, needless to say, items that have been here for years upon years, decades even. Those classic wardrobe items that just never seem to die out. A great example is the classic blazer. It's something that, according to Vogue, appeared in one of their magazines the first time in 1893. So it's something that's been here for ages and we still love it to this day. So a classic blazer is definitely a staple in my own wardrobe and you'll also find other staples such as a pair of basic blue jeans, a white t-shirt and a pair of great boots. Another way to determine whether or not something is going to be a fashion fad that will soon disappear and die out and make everyone bored is to have a look at social media. When something is suddenly overly hyped and just everywhere on social media, this may very well be a result of this particular item being a fashion fad. So it might start out slowly as something really cool and underground, but then it becomes mainstream, gets adopted by the masses, and that is when it starts dying out. So like I mentioned before, the difference between fads and trends is that a trend can sometimes stick around for much longer and actually develop into be a long-term change, whereas a fad is something we see now and then it disappears. Another thing to keep in mind when determining whether or not something's going to be a wardrobe staple is that fashion fads are often novelty driven. So that means that they're very unexpected, they're fresh, they're new, they're exciting, and they're all of those things which might sound wonderful, but they're only those things right now. So it won't stay that way. So what can you do with all of this information? Well, before you jump headlessly in into investing in something because you love it so much right now, you, it makes you feel excited. Wait a little while. So maybe wait for six months or maybe even a whole year before you jump in and buy this item. That's a great rule of thumb to decide whether or not this is something you're going to love long-term or if it's just right now, it makes you feel overly excited. 
With all this said though, there is of course a way where you can enjoy trends in a much more careful, mindful and sustainable way. So let's have a look at some of the ways that you can work in the sense of freshness into your wardrobe without getting overwhelmed and without wasting a lot of money and resources. So like I've mentioned before, fats will often appear and then they will completely disappear right after that. Whereas trends sometimes have the ability to appear and then stick around for a while. So trends tend to go round and round as we've seen for many years now. Sometimes it's the 70s that are really just everywhere in fashion. Sometimes it's the 60s or something that we've seen before might come back. And that is often the case with many sorts of different trends. So often you'll actually be lucky to find what you're looking for, what is trendy right now in a retro store, in a vintage store or some sort of a thrift store out there. And as you might know, shopping secondhand is definitely a great way to be a much more sustainable consumer of fashion. Something else you could try is swapping clothes either with friends or family, or maybe even to check out if you have any sort of like rent services in your area. So this is a great way to keep the clothing within the circle and making sure that it can be reworn and reused over and over again. Finally, something you can do is to go for trends that generally live longer. So for example, within fashion, there are different sorts of colors that tend to reappear every season. So every autumn we'll see colors like brown and burgundy, for example, and these seem to be very trendy for this specific season almost every single year. So you can invest in items like these, then store them away when the seasons change, and then you can bring them back out of storage and then it feels like shopping new clothes. So whenever the seasons shift, you are able to shop your own wardrobe and get this sense of freshness and new life worked into your wardrobe in a very sustainable and very mindful way. So this way of working with trends is sort of a way to turn trends into wardrobe stables because they add that sense of freshness to your wardrobe and because you know it's something that you can bring out again and again and love for many years to come. So there you have it guys, some tips on how to decide whether or not something is going to be a true wardrobe stable or if it's just a fast passing fashion fad. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more fashion and style related videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you very soon for another video. Bye guys.